Hello, welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. This is a really quick tutorial just on sticky embossing powder. So this is a Ranger brand sticky embossing powder. Although it's called embossing powder, it's used the same way as an embossing powder, but it's actually like a powdered glue. Once heated, it um, goes sticky. And you've got about 20 seconds work time to work with it to make it do what you want. So what I'm going to do with it here is I'm going to show you a couple of ways to use it. So you can add glitter and that's the gilding flakes. So that's done on black card and here it is on white card. So that's the glitter and that's the gilding flakes. So I will show you how to do this. So we'll start off, we'll do, um, we'll do the glitter one first. So make sure you have everything ready to go because you don't get a lot of work time. So to start off with, I'm using Versamark and we'll stamp it, whoops, ink up the um, stamp with the Versamark and the Versamark is just a sticky ink. So this is what you use when you're doing any embossing. Make sure it's really well done. And then we'll pop it onto the card. Now because it's clear, you can't always see it, but hopefully it'll be a bit shiny. Yep. So you can see that there where it's shiny. So now we'll put the embossing powder on. And when you take off the excess, don't flick it and tap it too much because you want to leave a lot of that like all the powder on there otherwise you're going to be removing the glue basically and it's the glue you need to make this work just put that back in there so I don't spill it now I'm just going to get the heat gun going so make sure your gun's hot when you go to it and this will melt pretty quick hopefully we'll be able to see it melting let's see how we go I'll just turn it on. Okay, here we go. There you go, you can see it melting reasonably quick. It melts a lot quicker than your normal embossing powder. Okay. Oops. Now, I'm going to add the glitter. Now, once you've got the glitter on, just tap it. You need to, while the um, glue is still warm, that's when it's going to do the sticking of the stuff. So just tap it. Don't rub it. Otherwise, you might spread the glue underneath. You can feel it going a bit cooler. Then we'll shake off the excess. And then I'll just use a brush to get away all the other excess glitter. It's a pretty glitter too. I like this one. So there it is. How's that? It's quick and easy. Now apparently, um, watching um, or listening to Tim Holtz, he was saying you, with this um, sticky embossing powder, it, you can use dirt, you can use sand, glitter, foil, gilding flakes. You can use a lot of things to stick to it. Okay, now we'll go through it again. And this time we'll use the gilding flakes. So we'll ink up the stamp. Still using the Versamark and stamp the card. Put the embossing powder on, it's a bit harder to see the white on white. Just tip the rest back under here. That's the beauty of this. It looks like you're using a lot, but you're really not using that much. And it lasts quite a while. Okay. 
Now, I'll have my gilding flakes ready. Okay, so now we'll just heat this up. There it goes, it's melting. I'm not sure if you can see that one not melting. So again, I'm just putting gilding flakes on here, probably more, way more than I need. And again, just pat it around until it's all stuck. Pull away the excess. So if you've got foil as well, you can use foil. So you would put that with the um, one side down with the foil and same as here you just pat it all on I'll just get rid of that excess and now we'll give it a bigger rub and we'll go over it with the foam to get rid of the excess as you can see gilding flakes can be very messy but they can also be fun and most fun things in life are messy <laughs> So just rub it all on. There you go. How's that? Isn't that effective? So it's a nice way to get foil on your cards or glitter. And uh, yeah, so it's just a bit of fun. I actually purchased this one from a store in Tassie called um, uh, Image Plus Square. Book Superstore, so they're an online store only, but um, that's where I got this one from. So, anyway, hopefully, you enjoyed that, and it's just something short and sweet and a bit of fun to play with. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos when they are done. And come and join me on my Barossa Valley Crafts Facebook page. You can show us what you've done there and share it with all other like-minded people. Thank you for joining me. Bye.